guys, it's Jody. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is all about how I care for my natural hair under my wig, so stay tuned. So I partnered with Head & Shoulders to show you guys some tips for wig wearers, especially wig wearers that have dry, itchy scalp. So I want to thank Head & Shoulders for sponsoring this video. And you guys know I make a lot of wig videos, extension videos, clip-ins, crochet braids, all of that, right? But I want to get more into like caring for your natural hair under the wigs because that's just as important because that's the purpose of a protective style, right? So I've been using the Clinical Solutions Dandruff Shampoo as well as the Leave-On Dandruff Treatment. I use this for my wash day routine weekly for when I wear my braids. I only wear my lace frontals for like a week at a time and then I wash my hair thoroughly, apply the treatment and then I reapply my wig. So I know you guys are wondering how I got to this point. So I'll show you guys that and I'll come back with my thoughts on the Clinical Solutions line by Head & Shoulders. So I've been wearing my wig for about a week. It looks cute but desperately needs a good wash. So I'm gonna be resourceful and wash my wig and my natural hair at the same time. I loosened up the holding product at the front of my wig and I happily removed my lace frontal. So I undo my braids and you quickly see that in addition to product buildup, I have scalp issues. I mainly suffer from dry, itchy, flaky scalp. Although this has gotten better over time, I don't like that stop me from enjoying different styles and neither should you. So I'm going to first apply the Head & Shoulders Clinical Strength Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. The directions are to wet your hair, massage it into your scalp, and leave on for several minutes. So I'm just going to chill for a little while, then rinse it out. And what I like about this shampoo is that you can feel it working. I conditioned my hair, rinsed it out, blow dried it, all that good stuff. And you can see the noticeable difference in my scalp. Dramatically, dramatically less flakes on my scalp. And it leaves my hair soft. It didn't dry it out at all because the shampoo does have a gentle moisturizer. So next, once my hair is all braided down, I'm gonna go in with the leave-on dandruff treatment and just apply it in between my braids. That really helps with the itch relief while I'm wearing my wigs. And low-key though, this could be a style on its own. I think I'm gonna do this braided style with extensions. I think it'll be really cute. I'm gonna leave a link below to walgreens.com so you guys can get your hands on the clinical strength anti-dandruff shampoo and treatment. I highly recommend it. So now I'm ready for my wig. My wig is all dry, my braids are done, and all I have to do now is apply my wig. And obviously that wig cap was not the business, so I just stitched it, which leads me to my last tip, which is to alternate methods on how you apply your wigs or your protective styles. For example, why not try using a thick elastic band to hold your wig in place one week instead of using like holding products or gluing it down. It gives your hair a break, you know, so you don't put too much tension on it. So all in all, I can say that the products really do work on my natural hair. They're like a step up from the Head & Shoulders Dandruff Shampoo. This is like clinical strength. And it really helps, especially if you're a wig wearer, if you get that itchy scalp that you wanna just, you know, pat. And this helped while I was wearing my lace frontal. I had to pat a lot less, and I guess that's how you can tell that my scalp isn't as itchy. And you can see that after washing, my scalp is really clean and it's not flaky. Now I will say that directions tell you to use this at least twice a week. So my naturals out there, you wanna use this every time you do like a wash day with shampoo. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please do share your healthy hair tips for protective style down in the comments below. So as far as the elephant in the room, I didn't realize I had this top in my closet for months and it's very similar to what Rihanna's wearing in the Wild Thoughts video. So I put on my makeup it looks the same, so let me know if you guys wanna look on that. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes, and I'll do this video for you guys 
So thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.